Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Grinner Man Fitness. My name's Adam, and I'm a personal trainer. As you know, we are away on our first family holiday with Poppy and Kitty's mum and dad in the Lake District at the moment, and we are staying at the lodges at Artle Golf, which are very nice. It's so nice with the hot tub and everything. We've been in it every night. And if you've been following my previous videos, you know I've been running every morning. So I've been running to Ravenstone Dale in that direction, which is the nearest village. I've also run to Artelgarth in that direction. And I've also been running up the mountains over there. So I haven't got any, I haven't done any hill walking while I've been here. And Katie and her mum and dad and Poppy have gone to Penwith today, which gives me the perfect opportunity to get some hill walking in. So... I'm going to walk up to the hill, oh, not up to the hill, I'm going to walk over to the top of the hill and back down the other side to the next village, which is Adam's Wave. I've got my Bergen loaded up with supplies, I've got my walking sticks, and I've got my GoPro to record it for you guys. And I'm also rocking my Tibetan prayer t-shirt that I bought in Madabat Mountains in Kirby Stephen yesterday. Right, I'll best get started and I'll catch up with you guys once I get up to the top. Cheers guys, bye.
beautiful scenery up here guys the manager of the site has told us a doctor lives in these houses here so these paths are always cleared and gritted and there's never any snow on them so the doctor can get to the surgery in Kirby Stephen as you can tell there's no sheep about either because the farmer's been this morning and collected all the sheep in and I'm not sure whether they're going to the market or etc so yeah, it's a beautiful day look at the scenery guys it is breathtaking look at that oh by the way that house down there my wife katie wants she said that'll be her dream home i mean look at the views over there you can't see the lodges where we are now but that's ravenstone dale over there over there is artograph which is like a private estate private village because you can't actually go into it it's about six or eight houses right guys let's crack on Yeah, that's where the local doctor lives, guys.
Look at them views guys, it's absolutely stunning up here. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. If you're so at peace with yourself doing things like this. Fitness is more about mental health and having a, a good time than keeping fit. Keeping fit is a big part of it, don't get me wrong. But you do also have your mental health and your sanity. Now guys, this place here is where I've been running to every morning. Well, not every morning. I've run here about four times since I've been here. From this point here, it's half a mile back to the lodges. Now yesterday, we went in the car after we'd been to Kirby Stephen to get my Tibetan prayer flag top, we actually went as far as we could in the car to a bridge and then it got a bit steep so we decided to come back. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna continue going all the way. There's a dog buried there. Unfortunately, what a lovely place to bury a dog and put him at rest. Must have used to come up here all the time with its owner. Yeah, look at these views I've been running to every morning. Well, not every morning, sorry. Well, I suppose they are every morning because I've been running to the village and that. So I still see it. Right, my heart beats at the moment is 126 beats per minute, which isn't bad. When you're running, your optimal heart rate is about 170 beats per minute. I'm definitely feeling a difference having two walking poles now, because last year when we came to Lake District, I only had one. Now, after my surgery, when I had my appendix out, I bought another one. So when I was getting back on my feet, I had two poles and I knew we was coming here, so I knew it would be useful. quite warm today as well because we've been a bit hit and miss with the weather over the bank holiday weekend it was raining sunny raining but yesterday it brightened up all day it was quite warm about 24 degrees and it's about that today so it's all good which is another reason why I've come up to the mountains today for some hiking on a trail walk Now I've only got a kilogram in my in my rucksack today and normally when I tab around the woods near where I live with the bear aka Rob I have 25 kilograms in my in my army bergen so a kilogram today is nothing really I did actually weigh it on the kitchen scales in the lodge today, just out of curiosity to see how heavy it was. As you can see on our socials, I've uploaded some photographs of me weighing it, the Bergen. So we are heading up there. Oh, 
Oh, it's weird seeing those sheep about because the sheep uh, have been everywhere over the last few days. They walk out in the middle of the road, in front of you, etc. Or when I've been going for a run, I've been seeing the sheep and now there's none, nowhere. I can see a few over there on the hillside. They must belong to a different farmer. Now, when we drove up here yesterday, before that was a drop because it just looks like a sheer drop, doesn't it?
beautiful scenery up here guys the manager of the site has told us a doctor lives in these houses here so these paths are always cleared and gritted and there's never any snow on them so the doctor can get to the surgery in Kirby Stephen as you can tell there's no sheep about either because the farmer's been this morning and collected all the sheep in and I'm not sure whether they're going to the market or etc so yeah, it's a beautiful day look at the scenery guys it is breathtaking look at that oh by the way that house down there my wife Katie wants she said that'll be her dream home I mean look at the views over there you can't see the lodges where we are now but that's Ravenstone Dale over there over there is Artelgarth which is like a private estate private village because you can't actually go into it it's about six or eight houses right guys let's crack on Yeah, that's where the local doctor is, guys.
Look at them views guys, it's absolutely stunning up here. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. If you're so at peace with yourself doing things like this. Fitness is more about mental health and having a, a good time than keeping fit. Keeping fit is a big part of it, don't get me wrong. But you do also have your mental health and your sanity. Now guys, this place here is where I've been running to every morning. Well, not every morning. I've run here about four times since I've been here. From this point here, it's half a mile back to the lodges. Now yesterday, we went in the car after we'd been to Kirby Stephen to get my Tibetan prayer flag top, we actually went as far as we could in the car to a bridge and then it got a bit steep so we decided to come back. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna continue going all the way. There's a dog buried there. Unfortunately, what a lovely place to bury a dog and put him at rest. Must have used to come up here all the time with its owner. Yeah, look at these views I've been running to every morning. Well, not every morning, sorry. Well, I suppose they are every morning because I've been running to the village and that. So I still see it. Right, my heart beats at the moment is 126 beats per minute, which isn't bad. When you're running, the optimal heart rate is about 170 beats per minute. I'm definitely feeling a difference having two walking poles now, because last year when we came to Lake District, I only had one. Now after my surgery, when I had my appendix out, I bought another one. So when I was getting back on my feet, I had two poles and I knew we was coming here, so I knew it would be useful. quite warm today as well because we've been a bit hit and miss with the weather over the bank holiday weekend it was raining sunny raining but yesterday it brightened up all day it was quite warm about 24 degrees and it's about that today so it's all good which is another reason why I've come up to the mountains today for some hiking on a trail walk Now I've only got a kilogram in my in my rucksack today and normally when I tab around the woods near where I live with the bear aka Rob I have 25 kilograms in my in my army bergen so a kilogram today is nothing really I did actually weigh it on the kitchen scales in the lodge today, just out of curiosity to see how heavy it was. As you can see on our socials, I've uploaded some photographs of me weighing it, the Bergen. So we are heading up there. Oh, 
oh it's weird seeing no sheep about because the sheep are, have been everywhere over the last few days they walk out in the middle of the road in front of you etc or when I've been going for a run I've been seeing the sheep and now there's none nowhere I can see a few over there on the hillside. They must belong to a different farmer. Now, when we drove up here yesterday, before that was a drop because it just looks like a sheer drop, doesn't it? I'm not sure if there's sheep up there, they might be, can't really see from here. It really is a lovely day guys, look at them views. Oh, that's just the doorbell going off at home, <laughs> someone's all past the house. If you've been wondering guys what's happened to the dogs because they're not with us one of I trained Tegan who lives down my street and his mum is a is a professional dog sitter so she's been coming around looking after the dogs but I did I did say to Katie it would be lovely to bring the dogs up here because it's a long it's a long journey for them it's two hours and forty minutes Get here from home. Pardon me. Better out the better out the I suppose. Oh, they are sheep up there. There is a few sheep. There's some over there, and there's some over there. Unless the farmers miss them. Must have been hiding.
as you can see guys there's a lovely stream down there not sure if you can see it little waterfall I love the sound of moving water so relaxing right guys I think the road goes up to there at the highest point and then I think I'm gonna come off the road and walk up to the top of the mountain up there for the views and then head back down to follow the road into the next village I think that's the plan we'll see when we get there As you can see the stream flows down a bit further now uh, we actually got to this bridge and then we decided to head back because we had poppy in the car she was asleep and we didn't fancy driving up all that steep slope in the car with poppy in there So yeah, we turn around in this little lay-by here, the three-point turn, and headed back. So beyond this bridge, it's all new territory for me. I haven't been this far. Now Katie's mum and dad actually did come out after we got back and they said they, they went all the way in their car. So, and that there's an area to park at the top. So we'll soon find out. They didn't go into the next village because then they turned around and came back. Look at them views guys, absolutely stunning. It's a bit more steeper incline now. There's those sheep that I spotted earlier. I'll just walk to here to show you the views. Right, let's crack on. Now guys, remember, breathe in, deep breath in for your nose, then out for your mouth. Get some motion into your lungs.
Take a breather. Wow, look at that. Keep going. Finding a bit harder now guys, the higher you get, there's less oxygen in the air, plus the gradient as well. We're just over a mile into the tub as well. Right guys, this is the top of where the road takes us to. This is where Katie's mum and dad got to yesterday. Just bear with me, I'll turn around and show you the views. There's a waterfall over there, look. The views are there. The next village is a little bit further on there. But we're going to go all the way up there, guys, to the top. I'll wait to see the views once we get up to the top, guys.
I'm not sure I'm, look where I'm going guys almost fell over then I just turned to the side and saw that view and I couldn't take my eyes off it so we are heading up there guys I made it to the top of the mountain Woo! look at these views oh my god I am 3,600 feet above sea level I was going on the track and then I got to a point down there somewhere which is as high as the road goes so I then went to the side and started climbing the mountain so I'm gonna once I've had a rest I'm gonna go back down the side of the mountain back to the track and then follow it into the village like the original plan was but look at these views it is stunning up here it's very windy as well if it was windy where my Bergen is my Bergen, my walking sticks and my GoPro I want the I want the peak of the hill there's the black box up here to the very right top of it Right guys, once again to the next village, I will catch up with you. Bye!